Hi guys, this is Farz and welcome back to Farz Lozi and I'm here with another new video and in this video I'll show you how to add shine or glow on your skin or on your portrait. So let's get started. It's not a game, it's a red skin. I'm using a very simple and easy techniques to add shine or DOS effect. So let's see. At first, you need to create a brightness and contrast adjustment layer. Okay. For the shine or glow, uh, at first you need to increase the brightness like this. Okay, that's fine. Now, right click on your mouse and click on the blending option, or you can double click on the left side of the layer and you will find all the option. Ignore everything, just come into the underlying layer option and you can find here uh, a black triangle and another one is white triangle to add shine we will work with the black triangle just click and drag it to the right and select the area where you want to add shine let add this i think i am happy with this but look at this the blending is not good it's really harsh it's really really harsh so we want to blend this effect perfectly so press and hold option or alt key and click on the triangle now look at this it is splitted now just click on this part and drag it to the right and look at this look at this it's really really beautiful Drag it to the left, drag it to the right and blend it properly. That's the main thing. I think this is good. I think this is good for this picture. Press OK. And look at this. This was the before and this is after. Look at this. This was the before and this is after. So again, the effect is also applied on this area. You can see. So we don't want to affect everywhere. So click on the mask. You can press Command and I or Control and I to hide the effect. Now press B to select the brush, a soft white brush, foreground color white. And now paint on the area where you want your shiny effect. That's really, really good okay now look at this this was the before and this is after maybe on this area look at this this was the before and this is after you can always decrease the opacity from here and make it more and more realistic you can also increase or decrease the brightness from here just double click on the layer and you can decrease or increase from here too. I think around 80 is looking good to me. Look at this. This was the before and this is after. It looks really, really good. Now, if you want to add the DOS effect, the darker area, then you can create another layer like brightness and contrast layer and decrease the brightness this time. Okay. And apply the same technique if you don't want to apply the dolls effect then you don't need to follow this step okay just double click on this and now this time you need to select the white point and bring it to the left and select the area press and hold option or alt key to split the triangle and now blend this properly I think this is fine look at this this was the before and this is after I want to decrease the opacity around 50 percent again select the mask press command and I press B to select the brush and now just paint on the area where you want the dose effect like this 
So I think this is done. Select the two layer, press Command or Ctrl and Z to make a group and look at this. This was the before and this is after. You can always again decrease the opacity from here too and look at this. Let's zoom in more and see. This was the before and this is after. It's very very simple and easy so this is the basic thing there are some other methods to do this you can use the curves adjustment layer instead of the brightness and contrast adjustment layer you can use levels too but you can use the brush tool also i'm showing it right now you can uh, you can follow any method that is suitable for you so uh, press b to select the brush and paint with the white color like this you don't need to be perfect okay okay again double click on the layer and come into the underlying layer and bring it to the left press and hold option key to split and look at this so you can also follow this method too to apply the shine or dos effect so it's very simple you can follow any method you want so that's it i will love this tutorial if you did hit the like button leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe